Hey everybody, <clears throat> it is December 10th today, um, sitting at home, figured I'd share my my deer hunt with you. It's been a long, long month and a half since the deer hunt ended. I had quite a few things happen, I worked a bunch of overtime, finally got some days off, and my first day off I had a ladder fall out from underneath me and I broke my ankle had a couple surgeries on it or I had one surgery on it I've got two more surgeries coming up uh, so I'm just laid up sitting at home doing nothing I'm bored so I figured I'd share my deer hunt with you I didn't get a lot of great footage um, spent six days hunting the first day me and my son hiked in to an area that I've, I've wanted to hunt for years we hiked about 15 and a half miles that day and by the time we got in to where I wanted to hunt everything we had was soaking wet it was raining snowing all day long I saw a lot of little bucks uh, I only saw one decent buck and we never did get a shot opportunity on him um, we got in there and everything we, were, we had was soaking wet so he decided to pack out we hiked back out he decided to get the camper out of the the campground before it was too late it was getting really wet and muddy so we brought the, ca the camper home and just hunted from the house we we hunted a canyon right above my house um, saw a ton of little bucks if if next if some of those bucks get through this year next year is going to be a great year there's going to be a lot of bucks up there um, didn't really see a lot of big bucks I've seen I think I seen three big bucks the whole time I was hunting up here, but we had a good time. Um, didn't get a lot of great footage, like I said, but I'll I'll share what I have. Um, thanks for watching, guys. I'll uh, kick into it right now. Hey, everybody! It's uh, Friday, October twenty second. That means. A long way to deer hunt starts tomorrow morning. Usually, I'm hunting with my wife, my kids, my family, friends. This year, I was the only lucky one to draw a tag. So, I was supposed to be going on a solo backpack trip. I was going to backtrack, backpack in about six miles. Uh, my son, last minute, decided he wanted to go with us, go with me. So now I got an extra pair of eyes to do some glassing for me. I just got off work. I'm hauling ass home. Got to get a few things loaded up. Get the rifle and the gear. And be heading up. Gonna stay in my camper tonight. And then four in the morning I'm getting up. I'm gonna start my trip in to where I want to camp. I haven't scouted it at all. Kind of do it like the old timers did. Just kind of go see what I can find. I have been in this area before and I've seen some good bucks in the area. My personal goal is I want something big. Now I say big, I want 30 inches and I know that's a long shot. And my, I'll probably uh, drop my standards a little bit once I get up there. But six miles in, I don't want to pack out a two point. So, stay with me. We'll, uh, Go home, get the gear loaded up. I'll do a gear dump while we're up on the mountain. And show you all the stuff I'm using. I got some cool new toys this year. Pretty expensive stuff, but I'll show you when I get up on the mountain. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned. All right, it has begun. It's about five in the morning. We're hiking up. Get up on top before first light. Stay with us, see if we can find a big one. Alright, it's seven o'clock. About two and a half miles in. It's starting to rain a little bit. So we figured we'd hold up in the trees. We got clearing to our left, clearing to our right. We got a glass for a little bit when it gets light. Just hold up here for a little while. See if we can find a big one. 
this update. Rain turned to snow. We're getting snowed. Snowed on up here. We set up our camp about an hour or two ago just to get all of our snow sleeping bags and stuff out of the wet. So now we're sitting here in the mahogany's having a campfire, gonna cook us some food, hang out, hopefully it'll stop snowing. shot him not for the purpose of shooting him but because there was a giant moose shed laying on the side of this hill and I need a reason to hike up there and get it the shed is big 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 I'm gonna sit here and watch them these deer are kind of moving down to the left if they move away from that shed too much Get away far enough, get far enough away from it that I can get in there without spooking them. I'm gonna go in and get that shed. And there's also another herd of deer farther up this canyon in the the maples. They're all bedded up. It's starting to rain a little bit, but I know there's at least one buck in there. But I can't tell how good he is. I can tell he's he's a bigger buck. He's right on that edge of being mature enough to shoot. Um, don't want to spook this other herd into them and bump them out of the canyon. So I'm going to sit here for a while and watch. I'm going to go get that moose shed. I'm going to sit here and glass for a little bit longer. Maybe I can find the other one. That's a big shed. I might have both sides right there. But see if it'll let up on the rain a little bit. And then uh, I'm going to go see if I can get that moose shed. See if I can figure out how big this other buck is. It's in that other herd up here. Stay tuned, guys. So here's a better view of that moose shed. I guess not really a better view. The only view I've got. That is a big shed. I've glassed it from a couple different angles. He's got quite a few points on his back on his palm. And I know there's some good good moose in here, but I've never found a moose shed, so I I'm gonna have to go pick that up. Those other deer went off to the left. They kind of fed, well, not really fed, they kind of ran the, the fawn and does were kind of running around playing. 
they fed clear down into here somewhere. They've, they're out of my view. I can't see them anymore. But I'm going to hike up there. Go get it. Shouldn't be too bad of a hike. All right, stick with it. Let's go see if we can pick it up. Right, just coming up on this moose shed. It looks good. It's a pretty good one. My wife told me today that I can't find deer. And the other thing I know how to find is antlers. Well, she was right about one thing. I can find lots of these. It's pretty good. Pretty good on one there. There would have been a nice wide one. I'm gonna wander around here for a few minutes. See if I can't find the other side. It's a couple years old. I don't know how I didn't see that last year. I glassed this a million times. Alright. Walk up through these mahogany and stuff. See if I can find the other side. Day three. Drove up to where I was yesterday. Already glassed up a couple of small bucks. Hike up on this ridge. There's a big canyon to my left. Let's see if we can spot a bear one. Hopefully we can get something up here. Alright. The weather's got the best of us yet again. We get out of these glass and points. It's raining, blowing. Blowing so hard that even if I did find a good buck. The wind would make it almost impossible to shoot. So we're going to go back side by side. Probably grab something to eat. Maybe run back home and come back up for the night hunt tonight. I've about had it with wind and rain. Oh my glass is wet. My camera's wet. Brand new rifle's all wet and muddy. So I'm going to opt to wait for better conditions. Now we go back out. All right, day three, evening hunt. We went, went down in town, got something to eat. <clears throat> My son had to go and do a few things. <clears throat> so I'm up here solo. There's somebody already in the spot that I wanted to go to, which is crazy. It's the only hunter I've seen up here. I came down probably about a mile and a half, two miles below him. And there's a canyon that goes up just above him where he can't see. I figure I can get up here on the south facing slope and glass into the pines on the north. Try to turn something up. Stick with me guys, see if we can find something. I know I haven't seen anything, but we'll find something. This is 
against the wind, blocking some of the rain. Been sitting here picking apart this hillside for about 20 minutes now. There's absolutely nothing moving. Sit here a little while longer, see if I can pick something out in its bed. And then, uh, if I can't, I think I'm going to drop back to the bottom. Go back to the side by side and go up a little higher. See if that guy left us in the same way. Day six, the last day I can hunt. I have to go back to work tomorrow. I've been hunting the south side of this canyon and all I was seeing was the same 22 points, 32 points, a whole bunch of little tiny bucks. So I decided to hike up here. The wind is at my back. I was actually gonna hunt the canyon on this side and I just sat down here to catch a breath, take a break for a second, and I look across the canyon and I glassed up a monster buck. I don't know how big he is, but he's not a two point. I'm pretty sure he was a four. I ranged him, he was 557 yards, and I misdialed my, my scope. I shot once and it sounded like a hit, but he just laid there. Like, he didn't know what was going on. So I racked another one, and I shot, and I seen I hit above him. And he jumped up and ran down into the trees, and I thought for sure I'd lost him. So I sat here, I racked another round, and I sat in just glass trying to, trying to find him again. And I'll be damned, he come back out of the trees. I hurried and redialed, put my crosshairs on him. And I just smoked him. I watched him run down into some thick brush. He never did come back out. But I know I hit him. He hunched up really good. And I'm on my way down. I called to get a few people up here to help me. Probably going to have to quarter him to get him out of here. Because I'm so far up in here. But. Oh yeah, I got my buck. Last day, last hour. I got, it's like. 20 after 4, I have like an hour and a half, two hours before it starts to get dark. So I'm going to cruise over here, find this guy and get him taken care of. See when we get over there. Well, my worst nightmares come through. I got up to where I hit him. 
he was still alive. I hit him far back and he's not bleeding. We can only go maybe 100 yards before he has to lay down. The last time I seen him, he was side hill and he couldn't really go up. He just kind of staying level. When I went to put another one in him, he seen me and he ran straight down into this bottom. And I cannot find his track. I don't know where he went. I'm just gonna keep zigzagging these bottoms, see if I can turn him up. I hope I can find him. Stay with me. Well, this morning after I shot that buck, didn't sleep hardly at all last night. Just kept replaying in my head. Decided I would better come up here. I have to work tonight. I had a little while this morning I could come up and and look just to see if I found him. I could find him. I went in where I last seen him. Hiked all the, the bottoms of the washes. Turned on my tracker on my Onyx. Just hiked all over and just looking anywhere I could possibly think he would have went. And I didn't think he would have he could go uphill. Every time I seen him he was going downhill. And couldn't find him, couldn't find him. My son came up, he looked in another area. He couldn't find him. And I decided, well maybe by some weird stroke of luck he got up this hill and around into these, these maples up here above me. So I decided to hike up through. My son was below me. We were hiking through the trees. And all of a sudden I hear him on the radio. I says, Dad, I found him. I thought, no way. This buck was probably <clears throat> a thousand yards over a ridge from where I last seen him. He's got some ground shrinkage, but he's still a way cool buck. He's a four by five, has good eye guards. Let me flip this around. I got him down here just laying in the creek trying to cool him off because he was dead when we found him. But he's a cool buck. Got a there's a four on that side. Good eye guard. A cool little crotch point. Five point. Not a bad buck. And I did hit him back farther. He was he was gut shot. Not an ideal shot, but we got him. I'm glad I decided to come up and look again. I I was ready to go look for birds on my next days off. Successful end of a good hunt. Thanks for watching, guys.